For anyone fascinated by dinosaurs or paleontology, Triceratops is a name that likely stands out. Over the years, it has gained iconic status due to its distinctive horns and impressive stature. Ironically though, despite its fame today, the first discovery associated with Triceratops was initially misidentified. When paleontologists first uncovered fossilized brow horns in Colorado in 1887, they wrongly assumed the remains belonged to a mammal. <coughs> These horn fossils were eventually sent to Othniel Charles Marsh, one of the leading paleontologists of the era. Marsh believed the horns came from a Pliocene-era bison, not a dinosaur, due to their unusual shape and size. He named the animal Bison Alticornis and moved on, unaware that he was misclassifying one of the most iconic dinosaurs of all time. Part of the reason for this error was that, at the time, the scientific community had not yet discovered Ceratopsian dinosaurs, a situation that would change just a year later. In 1888, Marsh introduced the world to Ceratops, the first known dinosaur with horns. That same year, a cowboy discovered a massive skull protruding from a ravine. Like previous horned fossils, it was sent to Marsh. A year after that, a nearly complete skull was found that resembled the earlier specimen, but included a full set of three horns. This prompted Marsh to recognize that the new Ceratops species, and his so-called bison, were in fact one and the same and belonged to an entirely new genus of horned dinosaur. He named it Triceratops, or Three-Horned Face. 